You know uh, from a previous video that I'm searching for uh, 0 to 60 times in my 2022 Corvette and that you also probably know that my 2020 Corvette did a 0 to 60 time in 2.8 seconds 2.8 seconds which is pretty good and um, today I'm going to show you three launches that I just did and I want you to look at them and tell me what you think I think one of the problems I had on one of the launches was a little bit too much wheel spin and secondly uh, you're gonna see the best 0 to 60 time I've ever done in this 2022 Corvette 2022 Corvette um, and so I'm sort of happy with that and you'll see that uh, in one of the three videos we show you uh, today so we have a I have a video I have video showing the outside of the car, which I don't know whether you know it or not, but I, I hold the camera in one hand and I drive with my left hand. So when I launch the car, um, it's, it's all, all one-handed. This car is really an amazing performer. Uh, is, and, and it just, uh, it's amazing. You think, oh, you're crazy to drive one-handed. No, not really. This thing, it's actually pretty easy. It's not that hard, I have to admit. <laughs> So uh, the big deal, of course, is um, density altitude. I think that's the uh, number you have to get very, very low to get optimum horsepower performance out of this car. And obviously, if the density altitude, which is, and it has been high all week this week, um, if it is high, you're not going to get as much horsepower out of the car. So, and if you're into drag racing, you probably know all about density altitude. Do you have any suggestions? I'm also open to those suggestions. I'm going to, in fact, one of the things I'm going to try now is I'm going to try uh, brake torquing, uh, which I haven't done before. And uh, this is when you don't use launch control, but you hold your foot on the brake and rev the car up to a desired launch RPM, and you launch the car and see if that helps in, with the times. Uh, if the times get any better or not. So anyway, let's go on to the three uh, launches I do and like I'll show you from the inside and the outside each launch. And I did about eight of them, but three, three were worth showing you. So the three I'm gonna show you right now. All right, we got uh, sport mode. So let's try it on sport mode here. And the timer starts when I go. Now I'm supposed to just push this little button right here and it resets, which it did. Okay, here we go. We're going to try it again. That's a little better. 3.1. Still ain't what I want, but hey, Vegas can't be choosy, right? <laughs> All right, here we go.
All right, we're gonna try it again in sport mode. Let me pull up here. And we'll come to a stop right here. Reset. All right, let's try it again. Down to three. <laughs> That's the best I've got on this car. That's the best I've got on this car. That's the best time I've got in this car. Three seconds flat. <laughs> I need a couple of more tenths though. First of all, I'd like to thank my wife Patty for doing all the outside shots on uh, the video. She's been a great help. And uh, if it weren't for her, I wouldn't have any outside shots. A very special person in my life and we really appreciate her a lot. Uh, let's see, I'm gonna continue to look for the optimum density altitude and do some more zero to 60 runs. So density altitude, you can figure out a couple of ways. Uh, one, you can you know, look for an app on uh, the internet somewhere on Google, Google, uh, Google search for uh, density altitude and you can find it. Or you could go to the teamzr1.com website and go over here to need to know and go down here to density altitude calculator and bingo you have a beautiful calculator that will calculate the density altitude for you all you need is the three the temperature the dew point and the pressure to put uh into the calculator and uh so what i'm going to do is put in my temperature and this is just the one i'm I got the other day, which is not a very good day to, to run your car, but anyway, let's take a look at this one. This one, I, the first temp the temperature that I got was like, you know, it's getting warmer down here in Florida, it's 91 degrees, oh boy. Uh, the dew point was 70, and the pressure in inches of mercury, the pressure in inches of mercury was 30.11. So we're going to put in 30.11. And with these three calculations, I can go down here and hit calculate, and it will give me my density altitude. All right, pretty cool. Uh, one of the good features of uh, the teamzl1.com group. It's really great. So I'm going to hit calculate, and there's my figure. It's uh, 2,150. Now you might say, well, what the heck is that 2,150? I'd like to know what that is. Well, that is basically telling you that your car at sea level will be operating, remember I said at sea level, will be operating uh, as though it was 2,150 feet above sea level. Okay? So now let's say your uh, altitude is not at sea level. Let's say uh, you, wherever you live, you're a thousand feet above sea level. So now your car is not operating at 2,150, but 3,150 feet above sea level. So you can see there's a big change depending on, if, you know, those people that live in altitudes of three and 4,000 feet, they're kind of screwed because Right off the bat, no matter how good the density altitude is, they're operating at about 4,000 feet, which is going to impair uh, their horsepower and drag it down. So that's how that works. Um, and I hope that's helpful to you. Uh, we're going to try brake torquing and um, also regular launch control. As soon as we get another good day where we have good density altitude we're gonna we'll make some more runs so you know what i'm trying to hit i'm trying to get under three seconds i'm at three seconds now i want to get under three seconds with this car and i think it should but i think density altitude plays a big uh, a big part on getting sub three second zero to 60 times so thanks for watching subscribe comment leave a comment i read them all